What's up everybody of the Mangus? You are awesome, but today we're going to be talking about the Paragon Codex. This is a great tool that shows that let, lets you not only uh, use this hero builder to make builds, but you can also share them. So if you're looking for a build, you can find a build for pretty much anybody that you want. They're rated, so you can kind of know from the community whether that build is good or not. And then uh, not only that, but it seems that whoever is making this site has been doing some data mining because we look here and they have Adele. And not only do they have Adele, Adele was supposed to be the, where she was the one we thought would be the first original IP hero for Overprime, but that ended up being Xena. But we're still been, we've still been looking forward to Adele and uh, we, we can actually take a look at a bunch of her abilities and her lore and stuff. We also see that Boris is pretty much in the pipeline. Um, Greystone should be coming soon. Uh, Grim, who I think is going to be the next addition to the game, uh, because he is on a lot of their splash art and stuff like that. Uh, so I think Grim's going to be the next addition. And then the the final one is uh, they have Ractor, which I assume is Richter just spelled wrong. Maybe they've got another IP hero named Ractor, which uh, Jelly Knees pointed it out. That would be very confusing if you had a Richter and a Ractor, a Rick and Rack, so to speak. But um. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. We're going to get to all of the uh, all the functionality of this website, but first, let's talk about Adele here. So she's uh, meant for the solo lane. A hundred percent agree with that. Uh, judging by her abilities that I've already looked through, you can read through her lore right here. I'm not going to read through it right now. Let's look. Take a look at her abilities, starting with her Q. And this extends, this is called Let Me Hold You, extends a whip sword toward a selected target, stabbing for, uh, you know, physical damage, then charges again to deal bonus physical damage. What that means, if you've ever played Sonya in Heroes of the Storm, one of my favorite heroes in Heroes of the Storm, what she would do is she would whip out a, um, like a, a spear into somebody and then pull herself to them. So instead of like Richter where he grabs somebody and pulls them to, to, to him, you spear somebody and pull yourself towards them, slam into them, deal some damage. I'm really excited to have somebody with this type of ability in the game. Now her next ability, her E, is called Your Beautiful Scent, which is probably the creepiest name for an ability ever. And it looks like it's going to be just like Terra's uh, Worthless Assault. You swing um, your chainsword in a big wide arc around you, and then you slam it down in a straight line to deal true damage. So a big whip around you and then a slam forward. So think, uh, think Bologna from Smite with her hammer or, um, or Terra's Ruthless Assault. So this is a, you know, it'll be pretty cool. It's just her, her kind of damaging ability. She's going to need some sort of damaging ability. She is set up mainly to be a tank, but um, this should be pretty cool. I just I, I don't like that name at all. Now, before we get to her ultimate, let's talk about uh, It's Supposed to Hurt, which is her right click. Uh, expands a shield to increase the hero's physical defense by 20% and magical defense by 20% and also reflects 15% of received damage. While the effect lasts, movement speed is decreased by 30% and only basic attack is available. So while you have your shield up, you can only basic attack, but you're going to be taking... A, it, it's a true tank ability. Uh, you, you don't see these a lot in, um, in, in uh, Paragon style... MOBAs where it's just a straight up tank ability. You just get real fucking tanky and you're able to to um, withstand a lot of damage, but not only withstand it, but also reflect some of it as well. So probably not a great idea if you're low health to start um, mashing into her whenever she has this up. Now for her ultimate, where you belong, combines a sword and shield that puts them in the ground to summon a poisonous pit that slows enemies within range by 30% for 10 seconds and deals true damage equal to 6% of max health per second for non-hero targets deals up to 50 damage. So this is going to be a big AOE poison cloud that uh, is going to deal a, a fuck ton of damage. Um, imagine this combined with a Decker Cage, with a Gadget Ultimate, with a Gideon Ultimate. This is just going to be one of those really nice... It's, it's going to be okay for um, zone control because of that slow uh, on its own. But when combined with other abilities, this is going to be absolutely deadly. 
You can probably imagine how she's going to play now. You lash yourself to somebody on the enemy team, pull yourself into them. You're now in the middle of the enemy team. You drop your ultimate. You activate your uh, your shielding ability, whatever the hell that was called. And you just try and keep them in that ultimate and keep the damage focused on you while your team cleans up. Yeah, I think, I think she's going to be a lot of fun. I think she's going to be a lot of fun. Still, it's a little weird that we keep getting this... Um, these small uh like small female characters out of them but still really cool kit i love the uh the whole chain sword the ivy style chain sword and she's got the shield as well so she should be she should be a lot of fun also looking forward i don't know how they're going to implement graystone right now tower diving is such a a, a thing in the game uh, Greystone, I think, is going to be like the tower dive extraordinaire. <laughs> like, his split push is going to be insane. Um, depends on how they implement him, of course. Grim, I'm excited to see how they do Grim. I think Fault did an amazing job with their implementation of Grim, but we'll see how uh, we'll see how Overprime does it. And then Boris, we've seen Boris in Overprime before. I don't know if he'll have the same kit that he used to back before uh, they got acquired by Netmarble. And then <laughs> Ractor, I kind of want to see if that's going to be um, Richter or or what. And then what was the other one? There was Grim, Ractor, I think, and Greystone. Yeah, I think that was it. So cool stuff. So now let's take a look. So if you're looking for builds, you go to the builds. Here we go. And you can sort these by you know how many how many views they've had, what the rating is how many comments it has so let's look so the top rated one right now is a muriel build and i think this is an excellent muriel build just looking through it um and then if you click on this build you see that they have descriptions so it tells you not only what the build is but it tells you you know why why you're building this stuff and the main focus here is for cdr for cooldown reduction so you could just shield your heart out and it shows you here the build order, um, your starter set, your mid game set, your end game, and then the optional. The optional, I think they just replaced um, the uh, swamp cloak with uh, the icy. Um, I won't let me mouse over it. Ice spirit go uh, gloves. I was about to call them gauntlets. So one of them get reduces movement speed. One of them reduces attack speed. But everything gives you CDR like that. This build is all about CDR. You can see people uh, made some comments on it. I think this is a great build. I usually go with uh, a bit more of a tanky Muriel, but I will certainly give this one a try. So let's go back to builds here. So now, now let's look at one that's not rated as well. So, <laughs> so negative one for, okay. It's a Decker crit build, it looks like. Okay, so you can see why this one is rated not well. <laughs> and then you've got a, you've got a Grux Jungle. Uh, I don't know why this one's not rated as well. I, I mean, I don't think it's the greatest Grux build I've ever seen, but it's not the worst either. Like there, you see some jungle builds on here that don't even have Destroyer Stone. So I don't know why that one's so uh, so poorly rated. But you know, give them give them a try and see how you like them. But yeah. I, um, very cool stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, let's make a build. Let's go to the hero, hero builder here. And I don't know who I could do just right off the top. You know what? I could probably do Shinbi. Let's do a Shinbi offlane build. So I got Shinbi. And when I do offlane, I usually do her Q first. I do her R, her dash second. And then her E third and then I um, actually just for the lane poke I usually do her Q and then of course you get her uh, ultimate at six after that and then we're gonna see the functionality here also you got her basic attack in here of course you can't put any points into that because you know who cares but um this is the point where I start getting a, a little more aggressive so I'm going to abandon the Q even though we leveled the hell out of it and I'm going to start putting everything into E as much as I can. And can I? Yeah, I can't see. It, it's not allowed. You, I wouldn't be able to add 10 
to upgrade my um, ultimate so it's not let me, which is nice. But now I can. So, and now we have our E maxed out. So, th then I'll probably start uh, maxing out the Q. We got the Q maxed out. And now we'll go into uh, Light's memory, and then boom. All right, so there's our uh, ability build order for our girl Shinbi. So, starter set, set, this is going to be a solo build, so... I want the green gem, gemstone, Duckyba. The gemstone of fortitude. There we go. I don't. Is there a way to? Okay. Yeah. 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 That's the one I want right there. Because I don't want people thinking that they need to max out their their gemstone first. And then I usually take, okay, so rechargeable health ampule is what I'll also take. And then of course we take some wards. Where's our wards? Watcher's eye. So that's gonna be our starter set, mid game set. Actually, let's go ahead and just, um, let's do our final build set real quick or our in game set. So the in game set, we're going to um, fully upgrade our the keep. We're going to keep the the gemstone of fortitude because I like to have a blink. I like to have a blink. Call me crazy, but I like it. So fort, fortitude. Boom. Spears teardrop is usually what I build first just to get that poke damage in then we're going to go with sweet life you know what i don't want to i want to put that into the uh the thing too pendant of confinement this is a fairly tanky shinbi that i'm that we're building here archon's gospel for the healing and then we'll just throw a Zimia's toy in there because I like having that. All right, I'm not going to save this or anything. I would, I would like to put a little more thought into this before I actually put this out into the world. But um, starter set, I definitely want to include. This is, um, this is a big tip for you guys. Brightstone, we're going to put this into our starter items. This builds into Sweet Life and it recovers 2% of your max health and 2% of max mana per second for 5 seconds every time the hero levels up. This is amazing to have as any solo laner, really. Like, you don't even have to build Sweet Life. Uh, Sweet Life is a, obviously a really good card, but um, you don't even have to build Sweet Life. As long as you build Brightstone at first, you, you, you're, you're set. So, uh, you can see how you do it. Uh, you see how you find all these abilities and everything. Um, They've been putting a ton of work into this site. I think it's really good. You've got a variety of different um, languages that, that you can do this with. Uh, you can support the site. Um, it's supported through ads, but you can support on Patreon as well if you uh, just end up really, really liking this site and you want to you wanna help out the, uh, the creator, which is, um, you know, uh, I don't fault them for, uh, for that at all. They've obviously put a lot of work and they... They deserve to be um, rewarded for that work. But yeah, there you go. If you guys have been looking for an easy place to find builds, this is it. ParagonCodex.com. Um, if, you, if you've been looking for a place to make your own builds and then have them saved on the side, this is where you would do it. You don't have to share them with the community. It's it's just uh, whatever you want to do. You could make an account. You could remain anonymous. Doesn't matter. Just uh. Very cool stuff. Uh, I love seeing some stuff like this. Uh, obviously built with uh, Overprime's API. And uh, they, like I said, they've data mined some shit that I didn't even know about. So really cool stuff. If you guys give this a try, let me know what you th what you thought of it. Um, I know a lot of people are more focused on Predecessor than Overprime right now. For whatever reason, I just have more fun with Overprime. I think it's a lot to do with uh, like the jump tech. There, there's a lot of cool shit that you could do in Overprime that... If you, you just need to work and find, like, being able to jump and then dash over to a ledge that 
normally wouldn't be accessible. I think that's really cool and just fun stuff to figure out. Um, min maxing in the jungle, like pulling the um, the mini prime to your side so that you can take it down easier, and then you know placing that mini prime on a tower to push somebody out of their tower. There's a lot of really cool like tech stuff that you could do at over prime uh, that really deepens the experience and. I know a lot of people will call the game Team Deathmatch and everything, but it's way more to it than that. And uh, I've had plenty of games now where people did try to TDM and uh, it didn't work out for them because you still got to play the game as a MOBA. So if people are telling you that it's a Team Deathmatch, it's not. And if you think that you should play it as a Team Deathmatch, don't do it because you'll fucking lose if you're against a team that has more than half a brain cell. And that's kind of part of the problem too right now. A lot of inexperienced players right now, so a lot of weird dumb shit works but you know uh, uh um Masashi Morimoto uh he, he, he killed two swordsmen with a boat or that doesn't mean that a boat or is a great weapon he would probably would have preferred to use a sword you know what I mean just because you can dunk on people on brand new people at overprime by doing dumb shit doesn't mean that that dumb shit is the best way to do stuff in the game is kind of what I'm getting at. I don't know. Went on a weird ta tangent there. I'm pretty sure I got that name wrong. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys uh, will check out this site. But this is the old man goose signing off. You guys have a good one. Man goose.